at 480 kilometers per hour, that's 68 rotations per second, and withstanding about seven tons of tearing force. Michelin and Bugatti had to co-design a special tire. Since due to the design of these vehicles, they are pressing into the road with higher and higher force as they increase in speed. So that drastically increases the forces that these tires are subjected to. The trick was to reinforce the tire without adding much weight. And so that reinforcement is made of carbon fiber. Now that carbon fiber is 10 times stronger than steel and five times as light. The body of the car is made of aluminum and carbon fiber, which makes it relatively light, but so strong, you have to apply five tons on one end of the car to get it to twist by a single degree. This monster is 4.544 meters long, 2.038 meters wide, and 1.212 meters tall. It's got a wheelbase of 2.711 meters. Trying to move an object that large at that speed is going to come with some challenges. The technology that goes into keeping this car on the ground and keeping it going the direction we want it to is what's really amazing. The shape of a vehicle in cross-section, so when you look at a vehicle like the Chiron from the side, it actually has the same shape as an airplane wing. And airplane wings cause lift. The air going up over the car has to travel further than the air going under the car. What happens is, is that creates a low pressure on the top of the car. The air having to travel further reduces the pressure, and that creates lift. We're actually creating suction on top of the car, and that's trying to separate the car from the roadway. The engineers for the Chiron designed air curtains at the front of the vehicle that direct the flow away from under the vehicle.